Kendall, Kendall, what is, what is it? What's wrong? He was here. He was here. Who was here? David. David, he, no. he was standing right over me. No, 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 it's just me. No, it's me. no, 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 he, he was here. He was hey, here. Hey, 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 listen, you just woke up. Give it a few minutes. No, 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 he, he, he was grinning at me like, no, like, listen, like he knew Kendall, something. Kendall, he's in a coma. There's no way he could have been in this room. No, 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 it was like he was pointing at me like he knew something. Caleb, we need... It's David. I, I can't, I, I can't get him out of my head. I've noticed. You think I'm crazy, don't you? You think I'm going to go over there and I'm going to have a pillow in my no, head? I, I think that you need to get some rest so that your body can get rid of this infection. Why can't I stop obsessing about him? Because you blame him for your husband's death. Yes. No, I, I don't know. And your blood know. pressure is elevated again. Maybe I can help with that. Ricky, hi. Hi, Doc? Reverend? Is this a bad time? It's fine. Okay, so what's wrong? I, uh... I, I woke up and I, I saw something. I saw David Hayward standing over my bed. And, and, and I know it was probably just a hallucination, but it seemed so real to me. And it was like he was saying something. About what? I don't know. Every time I think about Zach's death, it's like there's something missing. Kendall, you're missing Zach. I'll be back. I don't think he likes me. Yeah, you know how doctors are. Yeah. Look, these thoughts you're having about David, about what you've lost, they're holding you back. From what? Well, from getting out of this hospital, for starters. I'm in the hospital because I got pneumonia. Yeah, yeah, I know. But from what I've seen, the whole mind-body-spiritual connection can do a lot of things. Good and bad. So I gave myself pneumonia? No. <laughs> Not exactly. But you know what? You got it in you to beat this. To get home to your kids. All I have to do is stop imagining a sociopath standing over my bed. Well, that and, you know, think about your kids. Think about your life. Think about sledding and snowball fights and the Super Bowl party at the church. Think Super Bowl party? Yeah, Super Bowl party. And I expect you to be there. And I expect you to eat wings. Well, that is quite an invitation. It is. Okay, let's go. Uh, well, going where? Where are we going? Tests. And I'm taking you. All right, well, I will see you later when you get home. Okay. Doc? Padre? Okay, so, uh, what are these tests? Actually, that's not where I want to take you. You can't stop thinking about him. He shows up in your head. He freaks you out. Your blood pressure gets elevated. That's more work for Dr. Castillo. Third person, really? Listen, I just want to pump you full of medicine and get you out of here. But you got something else going on. Ricky thinks I need to let it go. Ricky. And he's right. Ricky. I'll make sure to call him for a consult. It's time for you to face this. There he is, Kendall. Same way as he was when we brought him in. Take a good look, Kendall. I get it. I know he can't hurt me. Do you? Yes. I don't know why I can't. have to do as long as there are no pillows involved David I want to know why you were a doctor you swore an oath to save lives. You, you had money, prestige, respect. You even had Greenlee for a while. 
I will never forgive you for what you've taken from me. My husband, my children's father. That I am done being your victim. I will not let you win. I'm finished with you now. It's over. But it's not. Kendall? Well, where is she? You're still worried about him. Well, if he wasn't really in my room, well, then that means I hallucinated him. It sounds a lot less scary if you just call it a bad dream. No, but this... This, this wasn't a dream. This, this felt very real to me. I know I said I was done with David, but there's something missing. There's something still in my head about him. I just can't figure out what. Well, uh, it... It makes sense that David would be in your head. You've been through hell, and he's been the cause of a lot of it. like I'm missing something. What do you think that is? Well, if I knew what it was, then maybe I'd really believe this was all over with. Maybe he's the only one with the answer. What is it, David? Why can't I stop thinking about you?